Hi, beautiful spiritual superstars. I'm Nicole, and welcome to our spiritual guidance for March 25th through March 31st, 2018. So let's get started. Take a beautiful deep breath in and raise your vibration. Deep, 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 challenging your human and let it out. Divine Source, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to channel our spiritual guidance. Thank you so much for blessing my soul, my spirit, my body. Thank you so much for blessing my family. Thank you so much for blessing every single spiritual superstar and their family and loved ones too. Thank you so much for making this possible. Thank you for making our dreams come true. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please show us our spiritual guidance. Thank you so much. We have the Libra full moon this week, dear loves. And I feel that is really the most powerful mix in your life mission. I truly do. And in your love life. Do you know why? Because, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Queen Mother. I see you. Please welcome Queen Mother. That is my spirit guide, uh, one of them, and she is the top. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Libra energy is all about harmonizing and balancing in your relationships. So that's business partnership and that's love. So marriages, um, all of that. And we have the Aries opposite energy of Libra and the go get it, pioneer, you know, confident energy and just acts, boom. So this is a great time to pour our energy into really going forward and reaching your goals in love and money. Remember that Libra's ruling planet is Venus ruler of love and money. Mars is Aries ruling planet and that is the warrior. So we've got the warrior and the goddess. We've got the warrior and the god. We've got the go get it and embrace togetherness while you're doing it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Heavenly angels, we are so grateful. Please show us our spiritual guidance for this week. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Lord, thank you so much. Thank you so much for speaking life into everything we say and do. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Please show us what to focus on in our love lives. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So Libra, you know, is really an energy that feels incomplete when they're single and they're a networker they're really brilliant at putting people together getting people um ooh, in that networking event putting it you know putting the event together and really pulling in clients really you know they're the point a person Thank you so much. Aries goes out and, you know, is like, what do I need to do? This is what I'm going to do. I feel it. Aries is I feel energy. So this is a beautiful, beautiful week to really see what is out of balance in your business partnerships and in your love re relationships. There it is. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. 
Okay, so we're focusing on many of you have a major decision to give your energy to and family. Someone's coming back in from the past. Thank you so much. Needing to be vulnerable to this energy that's coming up that's saying, you know, I want you to really face it head on so that you can allow the blessings to come in and that shamanic wisdom through our ancestors. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, look at Aries and look at Libra, air sign. So we've got that mix of Queen of Wands, very much Aries energy. Wands is the go-getter. Wands is take charge and do. Wands is passion. It's fire. It's I feel energy. And this is where you're at. The goddess, Venus. Okay, so this is telling us take control, take that opportunity and do it. You know, this is that be in your higher self energy and you know what? Queen of Wands creates, they, they create the Phoenix rising and they don't hesitate. So this is that energy of you can more than do it you own it and this this is that breakthrough it's like you're walking over the bridge this week and you're owning your past your your pa you're owning your present excuse me you're owning your future your past is going to be really looking at you to come back i feel i really do feel that it's going to be a major decision and how you're going to really step forward in your success. This is life mission. This is your career, but this is also love. Aries, if they're a parent, they care nothing more about anything other than their kids. If they are an entrepreneur, they go hard and they go after it. They don't quit. They're confident. This is that energy. This is, I know I deserve it and I'm going to go after it. And I'm ready. You see how she's holding that wand with both hands? She's ready to go create it. It's not being handed to her. She's creating it. The King of Swords energy. This is that intellectual, the delegator. This is the one that can say, you know what? I'm going to think it. This is, this is Libra energy. Libra is that intellectual air sign. So Libra says, you know, I can think it, I can do it. Libra says, I want to make it happen for everybody. So that thought is all on partnership, the union, the togetherness, the how can we make this work? energy definitely about compromise definitely about um having that conversation you see that double-edged sword so see how beautiful this is we've got the best of both worlds here god and goddess queen and king aries and libra opposite signs we've got um, the passion and the, the heartfelt emotion, that drive, the intensity, the determination, right? And we've got the cool, you know, the, uh, the beauty there and just being still and watching. And the can be manipulative, but also seeking that higher octave of it and it pouring out as unconditional love and love for the togetherness and for the idea, the thought of. So balancing out, what is your thought for this week? What are you pouring your energy into? Keep your thoughts positive. Keep them, keep yourself optimistic by being around optimistic people, like-minded people. 
Okay, our ancient shamanic wisdom here. I feel this is so much our ancestors coming in and really guiding us down that path, guiding us with the courage and the confidence that we need. So please pray for our ancestors because they're praying for us on the other side. And this is the first dispensation where we are required to pray for our ancestors and show them supreme veneration. And that means that we are absolutely acknowledging their presence. When you feel that gust of wind around you, when you're outside and that wind just blows past your ear and tickles your neck, when you, and you get that immediate message that comes to your soul, it's intuitively you know, presented to you, but you know that you've never ever considered that very thought that came to you. That is our ancestors. That is God. That is the Most High. That is our angels. That is that is our spirit guides coming to you and really gifting you with the next um, thing to do, your next step. So when you feel like, oh my gosh, the decision you have to make is causing you stress and strain. It is necessary to step forward in the direction Divine Source has been sending you in. And it may feel like it is out of your control, but guess what? Spirit is in control, dear loves, and will guide you every step of the way. So listen, just listen to your soul, not your human ego. Okay? Listen to your intuition, not that human conditioning of fear-based energy. So in order for you to do that, you do have to be vulnerable. Check out Dr. Brene Brown's vulnerability video on YouTube. Many of you have heard me constantly say that because I love it. Every time I do view it, I get something else out of it, something additional that I didn't see before because it opens you up to that vulnerability of not getting the same results that you've gotten before because now you're opening up to that change. Being open because you had to let somebody go or you're knowing that this, this week. Libra is, the full moon of Libra says, what is surfacing from you in relationship to someone else that you must let go of, that you must stay in the past? that you must keep in the past. Listen, Mercury is so retrograde. <laughs> so your, you know, communication, transportation, all of that is going to be kind of wonky for the next four weeks. It's in full-fledged retrograde for three weeks, but then really look at it after, a week after, so that energy can really dissipate. So many of you that you know, realized, hey, I don't want to be in a threesome. I don't want to be in this relationship that's loveless. I don't want to settle. I don't want to just take whoever wants me, you know. And I don't want to take what everybody else can get. And so in order for you to do that, in order for you to reconcile, in order for you to receive the love that you know you deserve, even if it's from the same person, Sometimes you got to be open a little bit more to see what spirit has in store for you. So what have you learned? Relationship full moon Libra is saying meditate on the lessons that you've learned in relationship and be ready. Be ready, not preparing to be ready, not getting ready. Be ready for your relationship to occur. Be ready. Because what you want is family and you want that togetherness. You want to spend quality time together. You want your children. Be ready. Show up as the high value man and the high value woman that you are. So if you have been wondering if your prayers of having a loving family have been answered, they have. Spirit is confirming that right now. 
and it may be a little rough with family right now. They may be getting involved in your intimate life. You may have to tell them to stay out of it. You may have to stop talking about your intimate life to people that you consider your family. And listen to your intuition and be vulnerable to whatever spirit's telling you instead of seeking validation from other people. We've all done that. So that you can hear and you know exactly what your next step in love is. You know exactly what to do to either get this reconciliation with your committed partner or it be someone that comes back in from your past, from your past life even. But you have to be vulnerable to that truth. And Libra energy is going to show up and say, this is what is throwing up. This is what I have to throw up out of me. In order for me to get new results, I have to change. So the Four of Swords energy is telling us, you know what? You want to be hidden. You want to escape. Lay low. You're not out of it. You're just kind of taking a, a back seat right now. Just kind of watching. Look at this, okay? You're kind of watching because you've got some plans. You're going to break open the springtime with some serious moves. So right now, you've got to go hidden and you've got to deepen your spiritual practice. And I tell you right now that it can be difficult to be vulnerable to that truth of what spirit is gifting you with because undoubtedly it will cause you to really look at yourself in a whole new way. And in order to do that, we have to be vulnerable. We have to be open to who we are, really. So this is not being down for the count, but this is awakening. You are awake. You are not asleep anymore. You know what situation you're in. You know what the truth is. And you know if you have to move on. And you know if you have to make what changes spirit is telling you to make this is an awakening and many of you are who are watching this know that you are questioning am i in a spiritual awakening well question no more dear love because this is that energy that says you are in a spiritual awakening and guess what the first step is awareness and this is that there's seven steps in a spiritual awakening and if you're interested in um, having a group coaching, please go to our community page and, and vote for it because it's going to take a lot of effort and I'm in it. If you want it, I'm in it. We're going to do it. So if you need help in your spiritual awakening and if you need coaching and you can't afford private coaching with me and that's an option that you want to have, please vote for it. This means that you see the daggers that are coming to you. Now, those daggers can be, okay, those daggers can be something that you have to leave in the past, but they have to be dealt with. In order for you to do that, listen to what Divine Source is showing you and telling you specifically to you. Be vulnerable to that because you've got both energies here on the Libra full moon this week. You've got the Aries opposite energy of Libra full moon and you've got the Libra full moon energy. So this is saying pull back and really listen. Be vulnerable to who you are, what needs to change. If you are working on your life mission, your sole purpose, if you're trying to figure it out, are you putting enough energy into it? Balance is what the Libra full moon is all about, harmonizing that. So are you playing too much? Are you focusing more on your nine to five? Are you coming home and saying, you know what? I'm too tired to research my own business. And so look at that. What habit are you giving your energy to? Okay. If you are interested in reconciling with the love of your life, your twin flame, your soulmate, it's here for you to take advantage of it. 
So are you pouring enough energy into your love life? Are you working so hard that you don't have any energy left to be open to dating, to getting out and enjoying life? Are you working so much on your, your love life or even on career life that you don't have time to spend with your children? Or spend quality time with family and friends that you consider family? What steps are you taking that say, um, you know, that resonate with the Libra full moon energy of balance and harmony and union and marriage and togetherness and partnership? In that high octave of the thought process, how are you reasoning while balancing between spiritual guidance this week? This week, that full moon says, what has to come out that you've already been shown in your moments of, sol of solace, in your moments that no one else was there, nobody knew what was going on with you, and you didn't share it with anybody, and, but, but God, you know, but your angels, but divine source, but your spirit guides. And so now you're seeing where you need to be more vulnerable. What is it about you that needs to change this week? What is going to be thrown up out of you that you can no longer stuff down and continue to thrive or start thriving? What has to change? Because it's a huge step in the right direction. And you already know it because it's stressing you out. It's getting next to you now for a reason. You know what? This is the storm. This is the storm before you, before that calm, I like to say. I'll read it for you. The decision you have to make is causing you stress and strain and it's necessary to step forward in the direction Divine Source has been sending you in. Listen to your soul, your intuition, because you've got both energies here. The Aries new moon is going to happen two weeks from the Libra full moon. And so spirit is preparing us lovely here. Doesn't get any better than this. You've got the Libra full moon saying, what in you has spirit been showing you to be vulnerable to? What does spirit want you to look at within yourself that needs to change because you're out of balance in certain areas of your life? Love and money. Delegating responsibility, using your resources, too much acquiescing and placating, too much uh, not loving yourself and loving someone else, too much of giving up your own needs and wants to please someone else. Where is that balance that needs to happen? And where are the changes within yourself that need to happen? How about in business? Really giving in to someone else's idea of success for you. Did you know the number one regret of the dying? And you can Google this. You, the, the last article I read on this was Huffington Post. The first, one I, the first time I heard of this was an, art, was an interview excuse me, by Dr. Wayne Dyer, who said it changed his life. And he first heard about it, I believe, in the 70s. And when I heard him say it, it brought me to tears. It changed my life. And so I share it every single time. And you know what? I have had the opportunity to, opportunity to share it about five times in the past three days, I think. That tells you the time that's coming up. It's now. So in business, the full moon in Libra. Where can you delegate? Where can you balance out partnership? 
Are you always the one going to get clients, customers? Are you the one on the front line and you want to be more on the back line or in the back end? Do you want to, are you a closer or are you a, um, the pioneer? Which one is it? Are you getting paid equally? Are you in business with a lover and it's not working out? Should you be in business with a lover? And that be someone you trust and you absolutely start succeeding and thriving. Are you seeking out your resources? Are you asking for help? Are you putting your own thought out there and or are you giving it to someone else? So with the Aries new moon coming up, Spirit is showing us, look at, remember, king and queen, the balance, intellectual and passion. Honor your solar plexus. That is your intuition and that is your spiritual understanding. Okay? You've also got your passion, your muladhara, your root chakra. And you've got your, your feelings and your sacral chakra here. Mastering your emotions. Both of them, you've got honoring your solar plexus. You know, and listen to the wisdom of your heart, absolutely, but jump right up into it and speak it from your throat chakra. So you've got the Aries new moon energy. Spirit is showing you what is going to come up now that's going to surface from you that you have to leave in your past because you're going to be vulnerable enough to accept the spiritual guidance that's coming to you. So on the Aries new moon, you can go get it. You can be confident. You can take charge. You can max it out. You can be the warrior. You can be goddess Isis. You can be queen whoever you are. You can be king whoever you are. But you are the top. And you call the shots. Because now you are in balance. You are harmony. If you're in a union, if you're married, if you're in a partnership, balanced. So where does that balance need to be tweaked this week? Right? So in two weeks, the Aries new moon is go get it. Pioneer. That's why we started our Life Mission Masterclass Academy. We've got all kinds of beautiful energy to be used for our success and I'm feeling it I'm receiving it but I'm putting in a lot of work and I'm loving it because it's my sole purpose and guess what people are falling out that I cannot take with me and ideas that I used to have I can't take with me because I see where I was hanging on to the past or hanging on to fear being vulnerable to who I am becoming not who I used to be. So this is that energy of, you know what? Don't mess with my kids because you're going to feel the fire. This is, you know what? I am in charge of my business. This is, you know what? I deserve to get paid what my value is. You know what? This is, I am the pioneer. This is the chase is on energy. But right now, you're in that thought process. You're balancing it out. You're finding where the, the imbalance is. Where can you harmonize better? Where can you be a union? Where can you delegate more? Where can you network? Where aren't you networking? Right? This I have a, a networking um, event to attend to today. And I'm making a meeting with a... Uh, new colleague a new business we're working on some some joint ventures together this is that energy right so this is beautiful remember you do want to escape you do want to hide away but you know what you're doing while you hide away you're being vulnerable to the changes that spirit has already been showing you and then you're going to be able to delegate and you're going to be able to really get that plan because you're awake. 
and you know it's a major step forward. But you're reconciling, you're reuniting with the love of your life. Some of you, that love of your life is you. And you really are bringing in the type of family that you really, 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 really want. Because you're awake. You're awake. This is a jolt. This is a shock. This is a, I can't ignore this anymore. I'm awake. Thank you so much. Thank you. Woo! Woo! Wait a minute. All right. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's what we're doing this week. Reflect on everything that Spirit just allowed me to share in our spiritual guidance. Please like, comment, subscribe, become a spiritual superstar in our spiritual superstar family. Uh, our podcast is starting. I'm so excited. The Nicole XO podcast. Follow us on Instagram um, at NicoleXO.com. Follow us or join us on Facebook at Jennifer Nicole Livingston. Friend me. You know, I'm pretty open. And uh, also spiritual guidance from Nicole. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button now and the little the little button, the little bell so that you can receive notifications and the podcast information will be down below. Thank you so much for your support, dear loves. I am on Instant Go if you would like an instant reading and you also can book a reading with a video um, or we can speak directly and personally. All of my sessions are private. Uh, the links are down below. I also have two uh, more positions opening up uh, very, very soon for private coaching. If you are ready to get the results that you have been dreaming for, you don't have to dream any longer. You can absolutely manifest your hopes, your wishes, and your dreams. And my clients are successful. And I love being a part of their progress of their success and I would love to do the same for you honey I love you and thank you for helping our channel grow and spreading your light thank you so much for sharing spiritual guidance with all of humanity love you Mwah. honey I'll see you very soon